Today we are at an animal shelter and we're surprising our daughter with a brand new dog. Zadie, you ready to go rescue a new puppy? Yes. Are you excited? Yes. Okay, let's walk in. Okay, you know what? Today's probably not a Rebecca. good day. Hey, Rebecca. I don't think we should do it today. Blackjack needs a new friend. Ever since Peanut died, he's been lonely. Hey, Matt, Matt, not today. I'm not, I mean, Zadie isn't ready. She's only two. Puppy has a lot of responsibility. So that happened. I realize now that I have a fear of my daughter getting a new dog because I don't think she's ready. But my husband, Matt, thinks that if I follow his three-step process of getting my daughter and I comfortable with a new dog, I will overcome my fear. And most importantly, we will welcome a new puppy into our house. There are three levels. Each level will help teach Sadie how to take care of a new puppy and help you overcome your fear. I hope this works. Well, Rebecca, yours will be extreme. Level one is responsibility. Sadie has to complete four tasks in the backyard with Blackjack, starting with walking them to the end of the cone. I don't think she can walk Blackjack by herself. She, she can do this. Okay, Sadie, you have to take Blackjack to those big cones over there. You think you can do it? Hey Zadie, be careful if you get nervous. I can take Blackjack. Rebecca's trying to interfere. If we're gonna get another puppy, then Zadie's gonna have to take on some of this responsibility. She's ready. Zadie, Blackjack can't eat the burger. Here, why don't I help? Rebecca, let her do it on her own. She's two years old, she can do this. See? Don't let him get that burger. Good girl, you got him away from the burger. Almost there. One task, but you have three more. You can do this, Sadie. You have to feed Blackjack. So take a scoop and put it in the bowl. I, I don't know if Rebecca, she's ready. Let her do it. She can do this. Can you do it, Sadie? Okay, just a little scoop, not a big one. Yeah, Ooh. Come on, Blackjack. Come on. Good job. Sadie, you did another task. You are more responsible than I thought a two year old would be. Now, Sadie, level three is brushing your dog. Can you brush Blackjack? Be gentle, can you brush the back? Zadie, do you think you're ready to have a new puppy? Yes. You do? Do you think you'll be responsible? Yes. You're only two, do you think you're too young? Yes. Okay, I agree, did you hear that, Matt? Zadie is showing that she has responsibility even though she's only two. Zadie did three tasks, what's the fourth? I don't know, what's happening right now. What? Oh gosh, oh! Zadie is gonna have to clean that up. Blackjack went to the bathroom, I need you to clean it up, okay? If you have a new puppy, they're gonna go to the bathroom and you're gonna have to help clean it up. Do you think you could do that, Zade? Yes. I am impressed, even though Zadie's only two, she showed she was responsible. Zadie completed her challenge, but Rebecca, yours is gonna be more extreme. This is the responsibility challenge. What does a dung tank have to do with responsibility? Let's switch it up. Blackjack! Are you responsible enough to take care of Blackjack? I've taken care of him for 13 years, I hope so. Well, I'm gonna be asking YouTube trivia and you have to get five right to pass the challenge. Oh, the water's filling up. Well, you only have two minutes before I press the button and Blackjack falls in. No! Question number one. What's the name of Ben Aslert's dog? I don't know, Stay like wild dog? It's not Stay Wild. It is Roger. What famous YouTube family lost their Pomeranian? I know this one. Familiar Diamond, Jif Pom went missing. That is correct. You got one correct, Rebecca. Who was the first YouTuber to build their dog a dream dog house? I don't know. I think it was Bren Rivera. Wrong. It was Zealous. Rebecca, you only have gotten one correct. And you only have a minute 30 left. These questions are hard. How many dogs has Mr. Beast helped get adopted? I think I saw that video. A hundred. A hundred dogs. Wrong. It's 114. Are you kidding me? What is the name of royalty family's dog? Oh my gosh, it's up to my neck. Um, Gucci. Gucci's their dog's name. That is correct. You've gotten two correct. You're deaf just over a minute. Oh my gosh, Sam, I don't know if I can do this. How much did Matthew Beam spend on his dream dog house? 25,000. That is correct. Okay. You just need two more. What is the most viewed video on Pawsam Dog Channel? What? That, I, I should, uh, it's when we spied on them for 24 hours. That was a good video, but it's actually when we treated our dogs like babies for 24 hours. I'm getting so cold. I'll do trivia. Okay. I've only gotten three right. I have to get five right. Otherwise, Blackjack's going in. Less than a minute. All right, Rebecca, I'm going to show you a photo of a dog. You have to guess what YouTuber's dog it is. Oh, no. Dog number one. Sam Fan, make sure you play along. Comment below if you know who it is. I think that is, um, Preston's dog. No, that's Brett Rivera's dog. What? Dog number two. Oh, uh, that's, that's, um, Salish Matters dog. Salish, Jordan, and Hudson. Correct. That's your fourth question you've got right. Sam Fan, all I need is one more. Then I can say Blackjack. Uh, is that Sniper Wolf's dog? No, that's Keely's dog. Oh, I honestly don't know their dog, Sam Fan. Did you know that? Hey, next dog. Oh no, this is hard. Is that Darman's dog? No, it's Faith Brooks' dog. Okay, you know what? I'm taking it back over. Oh no. Five seconds. What is Blackjack's birthday? That's hard because we have <laughs> I 
am sorry, Rebecca, you did not answer five questions in time. I cannot believe I did not pass this level. But you did save Buck, Jack. It's really cold in here. I cannot believe I failed that challenge. But what Matt doesn't know is I'm gonna be meeting three potential dogs to adopt, and I'm meeting the first one right now. This is my good friend Rocky Kanaka, who has helped rescue a countless number of dogs and find them their forever home. And he is here to help us hopefully find one for our family. I know you've been searching really hard for that perfect family member, so I've narrowed it down to three dogs that I think would be fantastic. Are you ready to meet number one? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, here we go, dog number one. So this is Brandy. Right. She comes to us from Utah, and she is a golden doodle. A golden doodle. Which is a golden retriever and a poodle. Friendliness and happiness of a golden retriever. Which is perfect if you have kids. Intelligence of a poodle. Oh, so Brandy, you're smart. Now, if you're thinking about adopting Brandy, you're gonna wanna move fast because this sort of dog is really popular and she'll get snapped up quick. Well, you are adorable, Brandy. She's a lot bigger than Blackjack. Is that gonna be an issue at all? Yeah, she's a kind of a medium-sized dog. How does she get along, do you think, with other dogs that are different breeds? I think she'd get along just fine. Well, that's good to know. Are they good with kids? Are they hyper? Lots of energy, for sure. Match a kid's energy level. What do you think? I think that Brandy is adorable and I could totally see us adopt Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's still two more dogs. You gotta wait till we see the other ones, okay? Okay, well, she is really cute, though. She is. High five. Good girl. I can't even get Zadie to do that. Zamfam, let me know what you think of dog number one. Now we need to get back to match challenges before he suspects anything. Do not say anything, Zamfam. This is a secret. Level two is energy, and we are at Happy Town. Zadie has to follow a puppy around this giant play place. Wait, but dogs aren't allowed here. They are now. What? Zadie, can you say hi, puppy? Hi, puppy. Hi. Okay, you're gonna go try to chase them and catch them. Okay, Zay, puppies have energy. Get the puppy. Get the dog. Ah. You gotta keep going till you tag him. Zadie, get the puppy. Come on. Ah. Come on. Go, go. He's over there. Go, go, go. Zadie's moving fast, but the puppy's moving faster. Level two, but Rebecca, yours is not gonna be even more extreme. I know. Yeah, you're gonna spill some tea. This is the don't grab the wrong box challenge, and you're gonna need a lot of energy for this one. We play until someone gets the winning box. I'll go first. Maddie, let's see what you got. Right. Come on, Matt. Woo. Oh. Oh. oh! So late. Why would you go for the front box? All the good stuff's in the back. How do you know that? Can you be something good? Oh, maybe it's ten thousand dollars. Paper and A. Lucky. Read it. Do you have a boyfriend? This is the spill the tea part that I was talking about. You have to answer that question or crack the egg on your head. Okay, Maddie, tell the Zam fam, do you have a boyfriend? Yeah, tell us. Actually, I've been wanting to tell you guys. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna go next, and I'm not gonna be lame like you. Maddie's weak, she went for one of the ones up here in the front. I'm going for that pink one right there in the back. Paper Boys is weird. Let's go! You're wearing pink, Isaac. Come on! Oh. Oh, give it up! <laughs> wow, Matt, at least I got a box. You know, it's a weird angle. It's an impossible box to get, and plus my socks got a little You're, less grip in the- We're all in socks. I think part of the egg, I, I slipped on part of the egg. Okay, you know what? I wanna do this, and I wanna show that I have energy. I'm gonna go for the back row. I don't know if I can get it, but- Impossible. I thought the angle was impossible to get. Whatever, man. <laughs> I hope this is $10,000. Have you taken a pregnancy test in the last week? Or have to shave my eyebrow? I think you look great with one eyebrow. Um, let me just see if this thing even works. Shave it, shave. Yeah, it works. Okay, fine. Yes, I have taken a pregnancy test in the last week. What did it say? Next. 
Oh, Isaac, what? you're up. Positive or negative? You're positively not gonna get a good answer on that one. I have no idea how Rebecca got that back row. It's because I have a ton of energy. I got a pee, so hold it lightly. Why so don't we just it hold it up higher? Safety right. on us. I'm Absolutely. still doing it! Oh, I guess back row's a little easier than we thought. I'm not hard at all. Woo! It's like Zadie's birthday all over again. Oh, when you stole her presents? It was a great day hey, for me. I swear we invited you. <gasps> Whoa! I get to keep these? AirPods Max? There's a note, there's a note. In order to keep those, you have to answer this question. Have you ever cheated in a relationship? Yes. Why are you answering this question? I'll let you do this one. Thank you. Come on, Maddie! Will you throw another egg? Oh, oh. Okay, that has to be good. I mean, that was really hard to get. That was three back rows in a row. Well, all of us got back rows except Matt. Yes. No way. What? What? Oh. Money! No way! Stop! Oh my gosh, that's okay. more than $10,000. Here we go. Have you dated anyone in Rebecca's videos? Maddie? You know what? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's obvious, so I'm gonna answer, and my answer is yes. yes. Why are you answering for her? It's someone cooking fish, because it's getting really fishy in here. What? Okay, Matt, just go. Two boxes left in the back row. Eeny, meeny, miny. Yes, let's go. Three, two, one. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Did you guys see that? We yeah. saw it. the one I was going for. You're really close. <laughs> was was pretty verbal about that. I'm pretty that. sure that you said back row. I think you misheard me. I always tell the truth. Okay, well, what is the price? <gasps> no. A I brand know. new iPhone? I okay. smelt it a mile away. What's the question? Who's your favorite pet? I mean, we only have one, so. Still peanut. I'm never going to get peanut that Peanut has been gone. It's blackjack. It has to be blackjack. Or what about Zadie? She's not a pet! Come on, dog -der. There's no G in daughter! Yes, there is. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Oh. Okay, it's my turn. All right, Miss Spelling Bee. That was that honest mistake! Wait, <laughs> Maddie, what are you doing over there? Give me some extra support. This is not the Titanic, okay? I kinda like it. Go! No. Ah. Oh. Please be something good. Dog collar. Please what is the question? <gasps> you win! We're celebrating. Okay, come on, come on, get out of there. Okay, Zam fam, while they are setting up the next challenge, I am going to be meeting dog number two. I really like dog number one. What do you think dog number two is gonna be like? Welcome back. Are you ready to meet dog number two? Yes, I am. Go. Dog is so beautiful. Very pretty dog, huh? Now this is how. How? Like and how? That's right, that's right. How yeah. is a Shiba Inu. How comes from a pretty rough breakup situation. Aww. And so she could definitely use a home. And how old is she? How is three. And how do you think how would be with kids? Shibas can sometimes be a little temperamental. They're kind of like the cats of the dog world. But that doesn't mean that she wouldn't be great with kids. Okay, well what about Blackjack? I mean, he's kind of a grumpy cat. I don't know, she might want to be you know, the leader of the pack, and Blackjack, he uh, sometimes, he thinks he's the boss. I mean, Hal is very beautiful, and she seems to have a really good temperament. Do you think you'd like a little chihuahua? I don't know who wouldn't fall in love with Blackjack. I think she would probably be a great fit, and you could always do a meet and greet just to check. Oh, yeah, obviously we'll have to. Do you want us to adopt you, Hal? Oh, she's so attentive. She really listens to you. Do you think it's because I have a treat? Yeah, I think she likes you. Okay, well, Hal is adorable. I already love her. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I know it's easy to fall in love I've with I've fallen in love with both of them already. <laughs> but we still have one more. Well, good, because I have to get back. Matt has more challenges for Zadie and I. So, Hal, I'll see you soon. Bye. Yeah. Level three is patients, better known as don't eat the candy challenge. We're gonna give Zadie three different food items and she can't eat them until we say. What? There's no way she's gonna be able to do that. She is ready for this. She has patience. Zadie! Zadie! Sam fam, I think this one is gonna be super hard for her. You ready? Yes. Zadie, having a new puppy will take a ton of patience and I don't know if you necessarily have it because you're two. She's got this. Here are apple slices. Do you like apples? Yeah. You can't eat them. Don't eat them until we tell. Until okay? we get back, okay? Patience. There is no way she's gonna be able to do this. She's two. She's got this. She has patience. Okay, well, I guess we'll see. I can't believe it, Sam Fam. She's not eating the apples. See what I told you? Well, okay, but they're apples. We need to see what's next. Okay, we should go in. She didn't eat them. Good girl, Zadie. You didn't eat them. I cannot believe you did that. Do you want a bite now? Oh my gosh, high five. You have good patience, but this is gonna get a little bit harder. Zadie, you like apples, but you love 
food snacks. Snacks. <laughs> yes. But Sadie, dad is gonna go upstairs and you can have one when he gets back, okay? Have fun. Sadie, go upstairs, okay? Zadie saw Matt go upstairs. She definitely is going to eat those fruit snacks. Mama. Oh no, she saw me. Uh, but she didn't eat them. Did you eat any? Oh. Oh. She waited though until I came back. She kind of saw me. I told you she has patience. Okay, I think Zadie's good. She's past the patience level. There's one more round. Wait, what are those? Cookies. Cookies. Oh, don't eat it till we get back. I'm gonna give you two, okay? I'm gonna go way over here. Oreos are her favorite and she never gets them, so she will have to eat these. Okay. She's doing it, she's not eating it. I'm impressed. <laughs> okay. Zadie, you did it, you had patience, high five. I think Zadie is ready for a new puppy. That's not what patience means. You just have to trust the process. I wonder what my patience challenge is gonna be. That's enough cookie, it's just a test. For your patience challenge, you're gonna have to not eat this popcorn. <laughs> Okay, can you get something to clean this up, please? Yeah, I got you. Oh my gosh. What Rebecca doesn't know is that her patience challenge has already began, and I am doing the opposite of everything she says. She told me to clean up the popcorn. Are you serious? I am so sorry. You're sorry? Is there something I can do to make this up to you? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can wash my Jeep. I got you. I guess I'll clean this up. Okay, that is annoying, but he's obviously very tired, so I'm gonna clean this up, especially because he's cleaning my Jeep. That's a good trade. Rebecca told me to wash a car. I think that's a good idea. That's pretty good. Okay, the popcorn is all out, and I did not eat any, and What's Matt doing to my car? Matt, you just spray painted my car. I, I should have washed my car. I thought you told me that you wanted me to make it a mess. I, it was too clean. Matt, I said I wanted you to wash it. Can you just rinse it off, please? Wash. Rinse it off, you sure? All right. Rebecca didn't lose her patience with me, but now it's Maddie's turn, and she's going to be ignoring her. Maddie, Matt spray painted my car. I'm like, Giving him the benefit of the doubt, but like, really. Ooh, is that the TikTok? Oh, on a solid family. You wanna do it? Is that a text from a boy? Oh, Matt, there you are. Do you wanna do the TikTok? Yeah, you'll never believe what just happened out there. What? Yeah, you spray painted my car. Rebecca asked me to like make her car super dirty. Why? Twice. No, Since Matt, I asked times. you to wash it. <laughs> it's so weird. Okay, well, I found this TikTok that the Anna Sala family did. I That's thought we the could one. try we to can do it. it. Oh. High five, high five. Him. I'll be the guy. Okay. And I'll hit you. Okay. Okay, mm. here, hit me. Mm. I'll do it too. Mm. That's good. I think yeah. if you. No, That's no, no. It. Honestly, Save though, if you do it, you have to do it more like. Did that TikTok kind of make you hungry? Actually, more thirsty than hungry. Thirsty, one. But I could, I could eat. We can go get I could eat, yeah. I mean, I'm hungry too. I didn't eat that popcorn, you know? Cause I'm showing I have patience. Look at that, I have all this leftover food from Zadie's patience challenge. Yes, but she did great by you the way, Maddie. You could eat it if you want to. Sure. Did you know that she she crushed it? Really? She did really good. No, she actually, you, yeah, she okay. didn't even eat the Oreos. It was so weird she didn't even eat the Oreos. I really? just said that. Yeah. That's weird. I know, it surprised me. I was like, I just said that. Okay, well, check this out. These are Rebecca's favorites, there's only two left. Good thing you guys ate them. I know. Okay, here we go. Haha, ha, very left. funny. <laughs> Mad. She likes them so much. I know. I'm right here. I love you so much. I'm right. What is going on? What Can we just continue the patience challenge? No, you know, I Rebecca didn't was, eat the popcorn. Did I pass the challenge? Rebecca was teaching me this best friend. I'm right show. here. I thought Can't you shoot. and I could hit it. Pop. Boom. Pop. 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 Okay. Boom. Pop. It's so weird, but I went with it. It's weird because you guys are doing it. It's like a Matt and me thing, husband wife thing. I wonder when Rebecca's gonna get back. I'm right here. Maddie, that text with the boy, you wanna talk about it? You, you know, a text from a boy at all? Maybe. No, I know where your diary's at. It's in the movie theater. What? No, 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 no. I'm gonna go check yeah, it out. Don't go hey, my diary. No, no, no. It's locked. You'll be fine. Good thing my diary's locked. I know. I just told you that. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. Just eat all the fruit snacks and all that. Why don't you just eat Oreos? Ridiculous. You can't even get into it, Matt. I said that. I'm the one who told you. I can't believe she thinks her Jeep is ruined and she still hasn't lost her patience. Well, this last round's gonna be extreme. Why? Because he's here. Remember, whatever she says, it's a lie. Here she comes. What's John doing here? Get it. 
What? What? You're taking what? a lie detector test. What? Are you serious? John, strap her up. What? John's here, so you know we mean business. What are you talking about? I always tell the truth. Do you believe it, John? She usually tells the truth. See? She's been lying a lot lately, so we're gonna get to the bottom of this. What does this have to do with getting a new dog? We're gonna find out if you're ready or not. Maddie? Really? Yes. Oh, at least you're talking to me now. We got into your diary and we saw some messed up stuff. Yeah. You mean that's Maddie's diary? No, it was your diary. It said your name on. I don't have a diary. Well, well I have a Zambia one. Rebecca in the diary. There was a little bit in the there. Diary. So we're gonna use it right now. What does this have to do with patience? You need to answer these patiently. I couldn't have said it better myself. We're gonna do questions round robin style. I'm gonna start. Have you ever dated two guys at once? No. That's a lie. Oh my gosh. No, that's. You, Matt! That was in the diary. No, it's not in the diary. I don't have a diary in it. That's not true. I think the machine must be off. Time for the next question. Do you even like dogs? Yes. That's a lie. No! No! I do like dogs. They're like my favorite animal. Bug Jack is here right now judging me. Enough. Enough. Have you ever worn your underwear five days in a row? Ew. No. That's a lie. Oh my gosh, that's why. I have is broken. I have not done that. I'm wearing them right now. Yeah. What? Is day six? What? No, these are clean. That's a lot. Oh my god. Do you think that I deserve a boyfriend? Maddie, yes. Yes. <laughs> That's a lie. What? Maddie, you don't think I'm worthy of love? I do think you're worthy of love. Are you kidding me? You're my cousin. Yeah. I honestly don't think either, but that's okay. It's a different situation here. I, you're supposed to be my cousin. I you're am there for me. I am there for you. I do want you to have a boyfriend. Trust me. Have you ever secretly wished that you were a unicorn? What? No. Another lie. Oh my gosh. Maybe that one, I, it might be nice to be a unicorn. I'm we just, were watching My I, Little Pony the other night, and okay. it got weird. I liked My Little Pony when I was a kid. Okay. I'm glad Zadie yeah. likes ponies. Okay, you know what? Here's the real question. Do you think Matt is a good dad. Oh, it was good. Yes. Why? Why would you say that? I, no, 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 I do. Matt, this is wrong. I promise. I think you're a good dad. I'm putting my feelings aside today. Oh. Do you think Sadie's ready for a new puppy? No. Why? I'm making some progress. Oh, <laughs> no, I mean, that one is complicated. I mean, I think no, but just next question. Do you want Sadie to have a sibling? Yes. Why? What? No, I, I, we're building a I family. do. I mean, obviously, I get nervous having two kids, but I want her to have a sibling. You're like two steps forward, five steps back. What are you talking about? I do want her to have a sibling, okay? Just because you're scared of something doesn't mean you don't want something. Are you ready for a new dog? Okay, I, I'm done. I'm no more lie detector test. I've done enough. I don't have patience. Yes. No, wait, we haven't explained everything. No, guys, I'm not. I can't. Right I'm leaving. This is all your fault. We pushed her way too far for a patience challenge. All I did was ask her if she's ready for another dog. <gasps> Maybe she wasn't. What do you mean? What do I know? I just do lie detector tests. I just, I can't do it. I have been saying that. I don't think Zadie's ready for a dog, but truthfully, I don't think I'm ready. And I just miss Peanut. So you know what? I'm gonna tell Rocky. I just have to call it all off. I feel bad. Why is this still dirty? Hey Rocky. Um I don't think I can I can finish this. Wait, what do you mean? I mean I thought that Zadie wasn't the one ready for a dog, but it's I don't think I can do it. It was like Pino was so hard. You know I've been through this too, right? Yeah, with <laughs> I think these are normal emotions. And here's the thing, your head immediately goes to, I need to replace Peanut to fill that void in my heart. And there's no replacement for Peanut. He is one of a kind. <laughs> he will always be Peanut and special. But the neat thing is if you can make a little room in your heart and you can allow another dog in, I think you'll really find that love blossoming again and you'll be saving a dog and they need you. I feel like Blackjack's lonely, and I think Zadie would really like a young dog. And I think Zadie seeing you do this and open up your heart will really show her true love and what it means to be hurt and lose something in someone, but be willing to try and love again. What do no. you say? <laughs> should, should we just at least see the next dog and see how your heart reacts? Let's do it. Let's do it, come on, let's go do it. Thank you. Okay, Rocky. come on, come on. Are you sure you're ready to do this? Yeah, no, I'm good, thank okay. you. Dog number three. Who is this? 
So this is Coda. Now Coda is the youngest of all the dogs you've met. She's only a year old. She's only a year? Well, we think. We don't know for sure. Here's the thing about her, and it's a little sad. She was actually rescued from a backyard. She was left out there. I mean, in all weather, the cold, oh. the, the sun. Her Hi. owners just didn't care about hey. it. Hi, Coda. Can I give her a treat? <gasps> Oh my gosh. Wait, what breed is she? She's a miniature pincher, and I think she really likes you. She doesn't let anyone pick her up like that. Oh my gosh, she looks a lot like Peanut. That's the same breed Peanut She was. really does. Okay, so my question is, Blackjack's an older dog, and she is by far the youngest one here. Is that gonna be a problem? You know, it could be for sure. Blackjack is an older dog. His energy is just lower. But what I found with young dogs like this paired with a senior dog is it can really help them live longer. It can bring energy back into them, playfulness. All the things that they need around a puppy. Okay, let's see if she plays. Hey, Coda. Hi, good girl. Coda. Oh, she came. Yeah. She's wagging her tail. How is she with kids? I'm not sure, but I haven't seen any aggressive tendencies with her, which oh. would lead me to think that she's highly trainable and would do great around kids. She is really cute. I mean, they're all cute. This is tougher than I thought. Mwah. She just let me kiss her. She wouldn't let me kiss her. Okay, Rocky, thank you for convincing me to go through with this. I like all of the dogs, but now, I think we should put them to the test. Now that I've met all three dogs, I'm gonna be rating them in three different categories and whichever dog gets the highest score is the dog all a dog. And we're starting with cuteness. Okay, Brandy, you are going first and I'm rating you out of five stars and let me see. Oh. Okay, yeah, definitely a five. You're pretty cute. How you are a great sitter, but I'm rating you on cuteness and I'm gonna be rating you one what am I talking about? Of course you're getting five stars. You're so cute. Okay, Coda, you are dog number three and I'm rating you on cuteness. Now, I don't know why, but you remind me of Peanut. You guys are the same breed and you are adorable. So, of course, I'm giving you five stars. Mwah! Man, they all got five stars. This is gonna be harder than I thought. This is round two and it's playfulness. Brandy's up first and we're gonna see how playful she is. You want a belly? Oh, looks like Brandy likes belly rub. Now let's see if you like toys. Oh, oh, okay, oh, can you come up? Oh, oh, oh yeah, you wanna play? Oh. Brandy seems to like to play with dog toys, but let's see if she likes a little fruit ninja. <laughs> Brandy, I cannot believe you know how to play Fruit Ninja. You get five out of five stars. Now it's time to see how playful Hal is. Get a dog toy. Which one's your favorite? That one? Oh. How do you feel about Fruit Ninja? Just kidding. Oh. Oh. Okay, Hal's playing, but not playing with me. Ah. Can you get it? Oh, but Hal has hot. Good job, Hal. Hal, if you like tennis balls, I'm about to blow your mind. Okay, picture that way differently in my head. How like playing, but not really with me. So I'm gonna rate you three out of five stars for playfulness. You're still cute. Now it's Coda. Coda, you are the youngest, but let's see if you like to play. Uh-huh, ah, get it. Hi, oh my God. Coda seems very playful, but it's like she doesn't know how to play. Maybe it's because she was left outside. Hey, Coda. Coda's in the ball pit. Oh, good girl, Coda. Oh, oh. Good job, Coda. You tried your best. I'm giving you three stars. Right now, Brandy's in the lead, but any dog can take it in this last and final challenge. I'm gonna leave the dogs in here and see how they react when Zadie cries. Okay, Brandy, you're up first. I'm gonna leave you here and I'll be right back. Just hang out. Okay, Zam fam, the reason we are doing this challenge is because I need to make sure that whatever dog I get is great with kids. So let's see how Brandy does. Okay, she's looking around. At least she's not harming Zadie. Now let's see what happens when Zadie cries. Okay, she's barking, but she's not even checking on Zadie. Zadie's in the stroller and she's not even acknowledging her. Looks like barking's all I'm getting. I need to go in and rate this. Okay, Brandy, listen. You barked to get my attention when Zadie cried, but you didn't check on her at all. So I'm giving you two out of five stars. Okay, Hal, I'm just gonna leave you here, okay? And I'll be right back. Let's see what happens. Okay, Hal, how are you gonna do compared to Brandy? 
Hey, Hal's looking around too. They're probably confused and they're like, no one's watching me. Guess what? I am. Time to make Zadie cry. Hal is concerned, which means she likes kids. Now she needs to get my attention. Okay, Hal did a really good job. Now it's time for me to come in and read her. Okay, Hal, you reacted when Zadie started crying, but you didn't bark to warn me, so I'm giving you four out of five stars. Okay, Coda, I'm gonna leave you in here and I'll be right back. Okay, Zamfam, I'm nervous about Coda because Rocky said she was left outside, which means I don't know if she's interacted with kids. So let's see how she does. Okay, she's looking around. Now it's time to play the fake cry. Coda seems concerned. She's circling the stroller. She's looking up at Sadie, Zamfam. She really cares. Maybe Coda's actually good with kids. What do you think? Do you think Coda would be a good fit in our family? Good job, Coda. You checked on Sadie when she was crying. But you, just like Hal, did not bark to get my attention. So, Coda, you get four out of five stars. Should let me kiss her. I have scored the dogs in all three rounds, and now it's time to tally up the score to figure out which dog I am going to adopt. And the winner is... It's a tie. It's all the same score. You're gonna have to make a choice. What? Well, I, I, I don't know. Okay, Sam fam, I need your help. Comment below which dog you think we should adopt. Should it be Hal, Brandy, or Coda? Comment below and you'll find out which one we chose in the next video.